What's up guys, my name is Bubble Play. Welcome to another episode of Toronto Blue Jays All Sim Franchise. In the last video, uh, we uh, got through off-season, we uh, did all the re-signings, we looked at our roster. I'm sorry for uh, this last video being too long, I will try to keep it short this time. And uh, this video, judging by the name, will be mostly about trading, because I will show it to you guys really quickly. Because we have some established players, uh, kind of a lot, uh, we have Mark Burley who is 35 years old and he will be declining uh, starting this year for sure and we don't really have a good use to him also who do we have well uh, we have Eric Dickey who is still on our major league roster but it will be probably it will be impossible to trade him because his overall is too low and his contract is too big we just have to kind of uh, just keep those maybe we will go through waivers with him and uh, well he will be he will not be in our major league squad and on our 40-man roster probably so uh, it's yeah we will try to trade him but it will be impossible but Mark Burley for example can be traded easily and we will do it also who do we have we have uh, Brad Cecil I don't know I think I don't want to trade Brad, Brad Cecil uh, so far. Uh, how much? Yeah, we have another year of arbitration with him. Next year he will not be eligible for a free agency uh, and we can uh, sign one year deal with him, you know, through arbitration. So we can hold on to him a little bit. I don't know, I don't know. Steve Delabar, he is an established reliever and uh, yeah, I will try to trade him. So now we have Mark Burley. Steve Delabar and let's go. We will have uh, Casey Jensen, our closer. He signed with another team. By the way, let's just really quickly. Let's yeah, well, yeah. You see, he signed with Detroit with our arch enemies. And how much he signed for? He signed for well, he signed a long deal for a lot of money. Well, good for him. Good for him. And we will get our draft pick, so we will not just let him go. Okay, catchers, I will, I don't know, I will probably try to trade Navarro, but maybe, maybe not. It's not such a big deal. We have uh, Roberto Cedeno, we picked him up in the Rule 5 draft in the previous episode, so we have to keep him as our backup catcher on our Major League squad, that's for sure. And he is, I think he is, yeah, he's a, he's a big potential 61, yeah, we'll, we will be sucky, so we will do fine with him. Encarnacion will be traded. He's a great trading asset and we don't really have any use of him. Uh, Adam Lind will have him for another year. Probably we'll keep him. We need somebody to play because we cannot just... This is the thing about this game. You cannot really uh, use your top prospects uh, when they are when their overall is low. You can't really use them in the Major League squad because uh, in this game uh, potential system it works a certain way. If player uh, performs badly, his potential might drop. If he pre performs badly for some significant amount of time, for you know three months, for a full season, his potential m might drop from A to B, from B to C, and so on. And on the other hand, if he performs super great, uh, his potential might go up from B to A, and uh, well, you got this point. So even if we will be rebuilding, if we will be trading for the prospects, we still need somebody to play on our major league because until they get to the at least low 70s, uh, I mean our prospects, you can't really use them in an actual game because you will hurt them. They will be performing badly against major league pitching, against uh, pitchers, against hitters and so on, and it will be bad and it will be, we will be ruining uh, their potential by this. So we need some, you know, average players to play every day. And Adam Lind, uh, we got him for uh, yeah for one year he's qualified so probably we will keep him and he will be playing because we need somebody to play well maybe we will be playing Cesar Cruz I don't know he's 69 overall I want to keep him on the major league team so we don't really need anybody on the first base that's that's the point uh, Jack Carney, yeah, you know what, he probably can play, so second base is good. Third base, Brett Laurie, that's good. Uh, Valencia and Francisco, I would love to trade them. Uh, Jose Reyes, yes, he needs to be traded, and we need somebody. Uh, we need a good prospect for him, and somebody to play uh, shortstop, because we, we, we don't have anybody. They are in the 50s, it would be a disaster if we would put them in. 
uh, Bob Armstrong yeah he can play you know yeah he's the type of player that we can use so he will be playing and who is our prospect on this position nobody yeah we need outfield prospects uh, Water Camper he will be playing in double A I can tell it to you right now uh, Reggie McKenna no 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 all those guys they are not good enough by the way I like I said in the previous video sometimes I edit players and change their positions uh, and I think it's totally legit because if somebody is listed as a closing pitcher it's okay to change him to relieving pitcher and uh, and reliever to, to a closer because well it's it's a manager's call and same thing with those center fielders if a guy can play a center field uh, he certainly can play corner outfield position so I can easily if I have too many center fielders and I don't have left field or right fielder I can just uh, edit player and make him in the corner outfielder and this is totally legit and I I I just think it's right thing to do. Batista, yeah, also, uh, he will be traded. All of those players that we have, they are in their 30s, so they are in their prime, and it's the right moment to trade them. And yes, this is it. And now I think we can, yeah, we can just sort by age, so you can see who we will be trying to trade. You see? Yeah. By the way, Sturis might be playing. Yeah, he will be playing. No, 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 he will not be playing second base because we have this other guy. Yeah, you know, you know who I'm talking about. Yeah, but all those guys over 30, we just want to trade them, that's for sure. So, uh, I took some time off and I made a list of what we need and uh, what we can trade. And a list of what we need, I will try to show to you guys on the screen. This is my handwriting. I hope you understand it. First, in the MLB category, this is kind of a players to fill our roster. So we need a starting pitching, we need a shortstop, we need center fielder and a couple of relievers. And then we can do fine for this year in our major league roster. And in a prospect full pool, we need a couple starters, a couple relievers. We need a catcher, at least one a shortstop. And I wrote, wrote down three outfielders. So uh, we will try to, play, to trade all those players, as you can see them right here those experienced guys we will try to trade them for our prospects and trading in this game I first I just did not understood I just didn't know I thought it was impossible but now when I kinda got into it I understand the trading system and now I think that it is actually pretty good and I like it much more than in NHL 15 because in NHL 15 it's just a universal trading value that kind of the same for every team and it's not true it's never true it can be the same this value trading value it should be dynamic and it's not really set in stone so you kind of need to work out the deal you need to try different options you need to try to figure out it and I think it's a great system so I will show it to you guys uh, we go into the trade and we go to the trading block and not to see all those players because all those players we don't need to sign them really well we yeah those are players on the trading deadline you need to give up a lot of prospects for them and it's not what we need to do because those players they all are pretty much established players and uh, what we need to look at uh, is this uh, little thing in the bottom right corner mostly Orioles seeking so we can go through the teams Orioles and we can see what they look for they look for relief pitching and for a catcher uh, Red Sox look for a lot of things you see you see and we just need to kind of take it into account for example we know that Red Sox they need starting pitcher and we have Mark Burley so we will go uh, yeah, we will go to the Red Sox and we will offer them Mark Burley and let's see what do they have for example we need yeah, we need starting pitching as well Yeah, you see this is yeah they kinda want to talk because when we put this player on it says like yeah yeah we will take it of course you will take it it's a great established pitcher for basically nothing it means one thing that they are willing to talk and that they can afford a Mark Burley salary and this is all that we care for right now so we will try and find a couple of good prospects for them the basic formula is well you can only put three players uh, in one trade so I will try to get two prospects and one established player 
For example, Alan Kojima, yeah, he looks nice, but I think they have somebody better. They probably will not give you their top prospect, like their, like this guy, they might not give him. You see? Yeah, it does not fit our strategy. So this guy is too good, and he is really good. He's already 61, and he's only 21 years old. He will be like 90 overall by the age of 25. He is a golden pitcher. They will not give him up. This guy, they don't want to give up also. Uh, Lincoln Law, oh, yeah, this guy is much less valuable. He's already 24, and he's a big potential. They, they want to give him up, like like any day <laughs> but we will not give up that easily they have like oh i'm sorry this is my timer it's uh, not related to this video okay uh let's look at that yeah those are established players so um, looks like they don't really have a pitching that we need but maybe they have other prospects maybe they have the bad thing about this game is that you really need to look at at all of the players like that you know just go through them just like that and there is I don't know the quicker way to do it by the way this guy no he's he's not that good of a prospect anybody yeah looks like they don't really have any pitching that we might be interested in okay I'm sorry closer yeah they have Eddie Gonzalez yeah they don't want to give him up of course of course you kind of need to work uh, work around it yeah, maybe they have... I would not mind... Oh, F Potential! I have never seen it! F Potential! Why are you playing this game, man? You're the only F Potential I have ever seen. This guy... Yeah, they don't want to give him up. Uh, this guy, they kind of want to give up, but I don't know if I want to take him. David Ross, no, he's a veteran. Who was this other guy? Yeah, Christian Vasquez. He might be actually pretty good. He's already 24. So you know what? I don't really think that we can... Well, we just need to look for shortstop. Maybe they have somebody who will be... For example, Dave... No, Dave Romero is not good enough. No, they don't have any good... Yeah, they don't have anything good. Maybe outfielders. Maybe a bunch of good... For example, this guy. Yeah, Dominic Curry. Uh, I don't say that he is the perfect guy. He's 22 and he's all, only 46. So it's not perfect, to say the least. Uh, let's see, anybody else? No left fielders, maybe a good center fielder, you know? No. We don't really have anything really worth our time. And, you know, this is the thing. Yeah, Cespedes, he's already 90 overall. Yeah, he's a great player. So uh, you kind of need to look at it, and I will uh, I will skip ahead a little bit and try to find a deal. You kind of need to go through teams and see if you have something interesting. Look at the pro, look at the potentials and make something work. We will make it happen. I will. I just need to find the right team. Finally, we were able. We are on something. I found in the Mariners organization. I found this guy, uh, Gil Guzman. He's B potential, but he's 21 years old and he's already 60 overall. And the best thing about it is that they like this deal. They want to give him up. And this is a thing. You, when you have this top prospect, that kind of a cornerstone of your trade, you put him in, and then you figure out that you can add other pieces to the deal, and they still will be okay with it. You see. I can add two of these guys and they still are fine. So maybe there is somebody else. For example, this Jermaine Katnik, he is 20 years old, but he's already 70 overall. He can be both a, a prospect for future, maybe, and also he can be a part of our rotation right now because he's already 70 overall. And you see, yeah, they don't want to give him up. He's too good. And I kind of get them. And this guy, yeah, they, they don't want to talk about it. So we need to find some other pieces in their organization that will we can add up to this deal. Uh, yeah, let's look at this. We need to look at basically three things. Age overall and uh, potential. For example, this guy. Yeah, they want to keep him up. And look, at he's only 19 years old. And his B potential 55 overall. Yeah, I think he's a good piece. And they, they are okay giving him up. And we just need to find somebody else. Uh, let's see if we can really add no more relievers. But maybe we can find... 
Oh man, I I messed it up. Uh, what was the name of this? What was his name? He was fifty something overall. Yeah, this guy. Oh man, this. And uh, Gil Guzman. This is weird. Why they don't want to give him up? But if you add this guy, they totally agree with it. I don't know. Maybe it's crazy. Okay, so now we need to look at some other pieces that they might have. Yeah, they don't want to give up this A prospect. Brandon Baladaris. Baladaris. Yeah, they want to give him up, and I think he can be a good reliever for a future. So we will keep him in mind. We can uh, switch him to reliever, not not uh, closer for, per se. So, yeah, we will keep him in mind. Let's see if there is some better pieces. You see, you see, this is the traits. This is how it's working. No, they don't have anybody here. Uh, first baseman, we don't need anybody. Second baseman, no. Third baseman, no. Shortstop, yeah, maybe good shortstop. Oh, they want to give up this guy. Look at that. He is a perfect. Perfect little player, 19 years old, uh, a potential. Yeah, I think I love, I like him more. Maybe we can uh, work out another deal with Mariners. Let's see, anybody else? No, looks like nobody else. But this Carlos Chassin, he's a little prospect, and I like it. So, as you can see, we, uh, yeah, this is how it's work. It's working. We uh, give up Mark Burley and his salary for three prospects, and maybe they would agree to give up another one. Well, let's see. Maybe they have some super awesome outfield prospect, and we need to pick him up and then make another deal with them, uh, with somebody else. They seek for relievers as well, so maybe. Okay, no. Oh man, I keep messing up those buttons. Oh, uh, well, let's just see if there is anybody else. No, it looks like not. Okay, so let's do it really quickly. Uh, we have Gil Guzman. Uh, we have the reliever Alex Manzanilla. And we have had shortstop prospect. He was. No, no, not Pablo Perez. Carlos Chassin, yes. And this looks like a good trade to me, so let's do it. Yeah, offer this trade. Sounds like it is. Yeah, we'll accept. I had uh, instant trading on. It's much more convenient because they always say the same thing, basically, and you just don't need uh, to wait. It's it's much better this way. Okay, so yeah, it's looking good. We traded Mark Burley, and now we will uh, try to find a deal for for who? Eredika. We will never be able to trade him. I will tell it to you right now. Okay, uh, we will try and deal. We need some big piece like, yeah, Edwin Encarnacion. I will try uh, to find a deal for him. And here we are, and it was easier than I thought. You see, this is Nationals. They really need a first baseman. So Edwin Encarnacion, uh, they love him, love him because, well, he is one of the best first basemen, uh, hitting first baseman in the game. And here is their great prospect, uh, Junior Francisco, and we need uh, more pitching prospects. It's it's basic thing in this game. You need one, uh, I don't know, one catcher, one first baseman, uh, one shortstop, and so on. But you need 10 pitchers, both starters or relievers, it's not so important, but you need 10 pitchers. So pitching prospects are always the main thing to look for. If you have a solid pitching, you can build your team around it, but not the other way around. You need a lot of pitching prospects and you can't have enough of them. So we will be picking up this Junior Francisco. Mm, who else do we have? Is he 90? Yeah, he's 21 years old, so he will, he is nice and young. Mark Suzuki, well, I don't like him, he's a B potential, so let's try, <coughs> oh, I'm sorry, God bless me, uh, let's try and find, no, oh, looks like they don't have any more uh, starting pitching prospects, well, Mark Suzuki, he might be a nice piece, so maybe we will add him up, okay, but let's look at, at the other positions, what do they have, uh, relievers, yeah, I, would, I wouldn't mind another great relieving prospect, to be honest. We kind of need one of those. And 
yeah it looks like no they, they don't have maybe good closer yeah this Mike Michael Richards we can convert him to reliever and he looks like a good prospect uh, yeah we will add him to the well well I don't, I don't know maybe maybe we will see we will see okay catchers catchers are from all the fielders it's the most difficult position to fill if you have a good catcher a uh, good hitting catcher you are fine and this guy he looks like an awesome player so, yeah I want him for sure so uh, maybe I don't want their uh, reliever Michael Richards but this catcher I want for sure he is looking super awesome uh, first base no we don't need anybody second base no no shortstop we kinda don't need shortstop outfielders yeah uh, good outfield prospects it's what is what we need pitching and outfield uh, this guy, I don't know, 41, it's kind of too low for me, I guess. Uh, this guy is actually pretty good. I, I saw him, he was actually making his debut. I don't know, he, he can play for us right now, but we don't need uh, his help right now, actually. You know what, I might want to pick him up. Uh, let's see, do, do they have anybody else? No, nobody I like. Uh, so let's try to put off uh, this Michael Richards and add this guy. They, they might say that, that they don't like it. Michael Taylor. No, they still like it. They want Encarnacion a lot. And he can be our... You know what? Yeah, I think he can be a valuable piece. So yeah, we will we will make it like that. And they like it because they really want to get Incarnacion looks like. So let's try and make this trade. Offer trade to the Nationals. Okay. Yeah, they accepted it. Perfect. By the way, we need to look at the free agents because we have some cap space and we can fill our roster with veterans. Somebody who can really play and this is a great news actually. Okay, uh, so yeah, we will just look at them after we done with the trades. There are some those seventies guys. They they can play for us. AJ Burnett, he can have a good year. Well, uh, so so year, but yeah, he can he can do it. And now let's try and make another trade. Okay, yeah, this is I know that this is a total rebuild and this uh, looks really crazy, but this is actually how you need to do it. Okay, let's try and find a deal for Jose Reyes. This should not be really difficult because he is just entering his prime. After looking through all the teams, you know, who uh, can take uh, Jose Reyes, I decided that probably we will make a deal with Orioles because, uh, well, for Jose Reyes, because he is the most valuable piece, I want to get like top prospects. And I found this guy, you see, 20 years old, A potential, already 64, so he will be amazing, uh, 95 overall pitcher, probably. So, uh, and they want to give him up. And this is this is the, the thing that we need uh, to work out a deal. Now we can add up pieces to that. Basically, it's... Jose Reyes for this amazing top prospect and uh, yeah this guy I like too yeah well let's uh, look a little bit more I haven't seen I just I saw this guy and I started recording the same second just to show you guys and we will work it out together uh, tw a potential but he's 24 so I don't like him that much okay uh no 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 they don't want to give up this guy yeah they like him looks like okay okay fair enough uh we still need some another catch no i don't think that we need uh, another catcher is not our priority we need some good outfield prospects like this guy yeah they got this guy 90 19 years old b potential yeah perfect perfect yeah and they want to give him up and i want to pick him Maybe some good center fielders. Somebody young. Well, <laughs> Adam Jones. No, they don't want to give him up, of course. Who will give up Adam Jones? Adam Jones is a 
perfect player. He can play the field, he can hit, he can do it all. Whoa, this guy, this guy I like. 21 years old, a potential 61 overall, yeah. This guy, and so we get Robert Roberts. I just saw his name. Uh, yeah, his B potential, but uh, McCormick and Shimizu, they both are A potential, and they are good A potential. And of course, I would love to add a third piece to this deal, but unfortunately, you cannot really do that because only three players can be added to the deal. And I think that we are ready to pull a trigger on it. Yeah, yeah, I like this trade. I like that we get two outfield prospects, and yeah, we really working our prospect pool, and it's much better now. Okay, uh, we don't really have too much trading assets that we have. We have Jose Bautista. He is a little uh, perfect little piece himself, so we just need to find the right team. Okay, so uh, when I checked the list, uh, turns out that all the positions, prospect positions that I wanted to be filled are already filled. We got two starting pitchers, two relief pitchers, catcher, shortstop, and three outfielders. So I was just looking for something, you know, great, something amazing that can, you know, that you can build a team around, you know, not the certain position, but just, you know, the gem that you have available. And it turns out, look at this, look who I found. 21 years old, a potential 69 overall, perfect player, uh, center fielder can play any outfield positions. Not a big guy, just uh, 5 and 9, but but it does not matter. He is a great contact hitter already, so he will be a perfect player. He might as well be a leadoff hitter. So, best thing about it, they want to give him up. And you know what? What I like about this trade is this is that it's actually making sense because Angels are in a stage when they really need a good bats because they are ready, ready to make a move. So they will be uh, giving up prospects for great established players, except, especially for this guy. Look at him. He's amazing. He had like uh, 38 home runs and three... 13 batting average. He is a gem. He is a great piece. He uh, took us to the playoffs. And uh, by the way, I haven't shown you guys, but he was the RBI leader in the American League. So he is a great player. And this actually makes sense. And I really like uh, this. Is a perfect fit for our rebuilding squad. So <clears throat> right now, let's just find somebody else. Somebody else who can be a part of our team. If we will not find good prospects, we will just be picking up. Diego Blanco, yeah, this might be good too, but not so much, so I guess not. Let's try, f to f <laughs> I was so happy, a potential 65 overall, but then turns out he's 40 years old. No thank you. Uh, we need somebody, yeah, like this guy, yeah, they want to give him up, but I'm not sure. If there is nothing better, I will pick him up, I will convert him to an actual reliever, and it will be fun. Malcolm Simpson. Whoa, yeah, this guy I like. Yeah, yeah, I definitely want uh, him to be a part of our deal. Okay, who else? Who else do we have? Uh, B potential, Francisco Sierra. Oh, yeah, they don't want to give him up. Yeah, they say, you know what? It's too much. We will not give you two pitching prospects. And that's pretty fair. Rodney Ladner, I had some experience with him. He grows nicely, but... I don't think that he's the best choice. He's already 24 and he's only 58. This guy I like much more. He's a catcher and they want to give him up. Oh, I'm sorry, my nose is killing me. I think that this guy can be a good addition. He adds some uh, depth. He's already established a uh, defensive catcher, as you can see, and probably he can be a good hitter. So, yeah, I will pick him up unless we will have somebody better. No, this guy is not better. He's 24 years old. If you're 24 years old and you're still in your 50s potential... Whoa, this guy, this guy I like. 18 years old, A potential, but... Um, I don't know. No, you know what? I think... Oh, maybe this Malcolm Simpson. Is he? No, no, no. He is better one. Yeah, and Ronald Rubio is uh, just a gem. So I think, you know what? I like this deal. Maybe we can add up like every... 
Oh, no, no, they don't want Harry Dickey. You see, that's so funny. They just don't want to... They, oh, no, 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 no. No Harry Dickey, thank you. And I totally get them because it's... Uh, you paying like 6 million for 67 overall player uh, who is 40 years old and he only will get worse. <laughs> oh, nobody wants that. Okay, so I think that this is a perfect deal, actually. So let's offer this deal. And yeah. They accept it and looks like we are mostly done. Yeah, we have yeah, maybe you know we just can't we can trade Delabar for some relieving prospect, not even top prospect, just like you know, some Oh yeah, they want to give up uh, this guy. Yeah, you know what? I wanna take it, maybe somebody else they want to give up. Another maybe B prospect. Not a top guy. And it also makes sense because Orioles are also in contention. We will be the last place of this division for sure. Oh no, they don't want to give up another reliever. Maybe... No, they don't want to give up this star. Somebody young, like... Oh yeah, they want to give up this guy. Yeah, yeah, actually it makes sense. <clears throat> uh, anybody else, maybe? But Norris, no, 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 he's too... I saw some RDP... Yeah, this guy maybe... Yeah, they don't want to give him up. Okay, you know what? Let's not be greedy. That's a perfect deal. So, yeah, let's offer this deal. And yeah, they accept it. Perfect. Now, uh, I think we dealt basically everybody we wanted to. And now, let's look at our roster. Yeah. Yeah, five trades are made, everybody's happy. Perfect, perfect. Uh, we need to see. Couple stars, veteran for one year deals will be perfect. Uh, relievers, we have those guys. Yeah, a couple relievers might be a nice thing too. Uh, closing pitchers. Yeah, we have this Patrick Clark guy. Yeah, we will we will figure out the believers catchers. We have we have somebody we have uh, who is this great prospect? Yeah, William Park, but he will be in in double A AA or triple A. We will see. Our roster will be finalized. Rosters will be finalized after um, the season. So uh, yeah, this guy we want to play him. I think as a backup. Isturis can play second base, but well, I think Jack Cardin can really hold his own. Uh, third baseman. Danny Valencia. Oh, he can also play first base, but we don't really need it. Juan Francisco. He also can. Nobody can play second base. Only Brett Laurie can play second base. So n there is not really a good use for those guys. Well, maybe we can play Juan Francisco on. Uh, I don't know. In outfield, maybe? No, no, it looks like not. Uh, Short stop. We have this uh, amazing prospect, but we need to sign somebody to play. Is Asturis a shortstop? Yeah, he can play shortstop. You know what? We will. I will show it to you guys. We will convert him because he can play shortstop. This is the only rule I have about uh, editing player's position. If he has this position as his secondary one, we can uh, convert him. If not, it's it's not fair. We can, if he cannot play shortstop, we cannot convert him. If he can, we can. So this is as simple as that. So we decided it's the managerial decision. We decided that he's not a second baseman. He's a shortstop. And he's actually more f comfortable with that because he's overall... Or, or it got less. I don't know. Anyway, he will be playing the shortstop uh, for us. Here, yeah, Bob Armstrong, Armstrong, we have some prospects and we will be careful with them. In center field, we have a lot of players. Uh, here, Elton McCoy. Looks like Elton McCoy, we, yeah, we had him. Okay, uh, so let's go to free agency. Uh, free agents, yeah, AJ Burnett. No, one deal, one here. How many? Yeah, we have a lot of money available, so we can just give him three million, for example. Oh, yeah, our rosters are full. Mm, so, yeah, Eric Dickey, by the way, we need to remove him. 
dropped from 40 man rosters. We don't really have anybody who is old. Everybody is under 30, and this is perfect. Hey, uh, let's give up somebody. Uh, we have. P -p -p we have a lot of right fielders and center fielders, looks like. Yeah, like a lot. And a lot of catchers. Let's try releasing some catchers. Like. Like this guy, yeah. We. Yeah, we can just release him. Yeah, we, we might as well. Uh, who else? This guy. Oh, this is a lot of catchers. Yeah, we really need to. Yeah, we need to release some of them. Okay. Anybody who does not have any potential should be released. Frank Hernandez. He's actually pretty decent. Josh Tholey. We don't really need him. Uh, he's a decent player. If we will release him. Yeah, maybe we can trade him. You know what? Uh, somebody who needs backup catcher. They might need like for for maybe somebody who we need to <coughs> play this year. Like yeah, maybe some starter, even veteran starter, like in his seventies, like TJ McFarlane. No, they don't want to give him up. Yeah, yeah, we cannot really get anything. Yeah, you know what? Let's just... I just don't want to waste any time. Let's just uh, release Josh. So, well, yeah, we will lose some money, but what you gonna do? Okay. Mm, also, we have right fielders, like a lot of them. Right fielders, and they all have some potential. Uh, Nolan Raymond. Yeah, this guy, I don't think that it will be anything good with him. He's the... Nolan Raymond uh, we can use... You can play any position, that's perfect. Center fielders, uh, Reggie McCain. Yeah, you know what, we are so... Uh, yeah, we have a deep prospect pool. Yeah, let's sign, the, sign this guy. Like one year, three mil. Will you accept it? Yeah, he accepted it, perfect. Ryan Vogelsong, yeah, also one year deal. For two million. Mm, short stop, I don't know. Ryan Dempster, yeah, you know what, why not? If we have a roster spot, one million. Just to give our prospects chance to, to grow and um, to be successful. Any any relievers? Jason Fraser, I don't know. Yeah, I guess we kind of want to sign him. Okay. Center fielder, maybe? Is there a, anybody good? Don Kelly, no, 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 no. Rafael Furcal, Jason Barflett. What kind of shortstop can play second baseman as his second position? I just don't know. Okay, I guess that's pretty much it. So, yeah, we will have to deal with what we have. And pitching rotation. We got this Sam Manning guy, and he's not looking too good. Uh, after all these trades, so we will, yeah, we will still have to play him, or we will have to give him up. Yeah, Ryan Dempster, Drew Hutchinson, yeah, he will be our first starter. Who is who else? Yeah, this guy, Sean Nolan. No, we will put AJ Burnett, uh, Chad Jenkins. Who else we signed? Yeah, Brad Mills can be a starter. Aaron Loop, no, he's a reliever. This guy is a starter. We might as well play him. I don't know. No, Brad Mills. Aaron Sanchez. I kind of want to save him. Uh, Sean Nolan. Anybody? Todd Redmond. He's a reliever, but we can convert him to a starter maybe. Oh no, we kind of need him in... Uh... Also a reliever. Oh yeah, 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 Ryan Vogelson. Yeah, I knew that we had somebody else. So this is our starting rotation. It's not perfect. 
Oh, also there is uh, this guy, Marcus Strowman. Yeah, yeah, we can play him too. And who we need to throw out of it? Ryan Dempster. Yeah, Brad Mills. He can go, and Marcus Strowman will be our all righties. And that's fine. Closing, yeah, for spring training, I want uh, Patrick Clark to close. And top relievers. Yeah, looks like Brad Cecil and Aaron Loop. Sam Manning, yeah, he will be in the wrong, long, long relief. Yeah, that's fine. That's fine. It's only for. Uh, for spring training, so it's not such a big deal. Okay, mm, we need to fix all those lineups. Okay, so I managed the lineups, it took me some time, but here what I came up with. Uh, one more time, this is not our final lineups, this is basically what we will be uh, doing in spring training, but I think that for a regular season it will be pretty much the same. Uh, so let's look at that. Uh, we have Rubio, our gem, he will be really a superstar, I can promise to you right now. Uh, look at his contact ratings, in age 21, perfect, perfect. Uh, Jack Carney, he's a potential second baseman. Adam Lind, he will be our third hitter mostly, especially against right-handers because he's a lefty. Uh, Brett Laurie Navarro, this is kind of kind of our middle of, of the order, those are established players. And then we have Juan Francisco, who is not really good at hitting uh, well he has some power maybe I should put him yeah maybe I should put him like that then Bob Armstrong he's 26 years old but he's 73 so he will be filling the spot for this year is Turis who is basically a veteran but he can make something and Michael Taylor who is not established hitter but he's a decent fielder and uh, he, he got 70 overall so he can perform I think Okay, uh, right uh, against right hitting pitcher is basically the same. Left hitting pitcher also you can pause it and look at it. The only difference is that we use Danny Valencia here because he has 92 contact against uh, left-handers. And uh, yeah, Adam Lind is going down the order and against left-handing pitcher and no DH, Adam Lind is not even in the lineup. Also, I figured out uh, you know all the training. I kind of put them. The same way I put them in the first year, so they all are set to betting cages for pitching coach session for starters. You can see the attributes that grow faster with this uh, current training are highlighted in green. Uh, this is for all the relievers, and yeah, this is also for closers and for all the hitters that have betting cages. Because offense in a game of baseball is much more important than defense, so this is the rating that I want to grow. Okay, uh, and now I think I don't know. I guess yeah. Let's let's do it really quickly because it will not take us any time. We will just sim through here. It will take like three minutes, and I'm oh yeah. What kind of of important message? Mark Bur that's just crazy. Why did they waived him? They traded for him. Ah, this game is pretty stupid. Okay, why would you trade for somebody and then waive him? I just don't get it. Okay, let's uh, continue our simulation. Let's sim through here. Okay, okay. Yeah, we are doing pretty much as bad as I was expecting because we have a bad team. 10 and 19. This is kind of a win to loss ratio that we should look <laughs> for in the season. And let's just look at the stats really quickly. Uh, lineups Rubio. Well, he hit his home run. He's not really doing that fine, but I guess it's work. It it will work. Jack Carney. Yeah, those those are not good averages, but I will take them. Adam Lind is hitting 300, Brett Laurie, eh, Diano Navarro, fine, Juan Francisco is really uh, hot. His tours, yeah, those established hitters, they prove themselves. All the rookies, they hit around 200. Well, it's not that I should have expected something better. Danny Valencia is doing fine. Okay, 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 okay. Uh, also... Let's look at the pitching rotation. Hutchinson is doing fine. Strowman was really suffering. 
AJ Burnett was suffering, Ryan Vogelson, uh, I will take it for the whole season, Ryan Dempster, eh, I will take it as well from the fifth starter, uh, Chad Jenkins, Sam Manning, eh, he's doing something, Justin Turner, yeah, we have a lot of pitching prospects. Okay, we just need to see who of the, who will grow. Brett Cecil is doing fine. Patrick Clark, of course, he is hurt. He will not be our closer uh, throughout the year. I just wanted to try him. We will convert him to re uh, relieving pitcher, and probably Brett Cecil will be our closer for the year, because it makes much more sense. Okay, those guys are not really. So yeah, we will finish it off later. We need to figure out our roster before we advance to the season and or maybe after yeah we can advance to the season and then uh, we can put all the players uh, at the right spots I just want to see what uh, AI will decide to do for me so yeah I guess it will be it I hope you guys enjoyed this video we did a lot of stuff on this one and probably it's long I'm not really following the time but probably it's a long video Sorry about that, and I hope you liked it. Leave a like, uh, subscribe to my channel, follow me on Twitter, and I will see you in the next episode. Thanks for watching.